Boogie! That's a mini ball! Getting in these palmettos, and he cannot uh, protect them here at all. Basically, just wade through them. Found a pushy collar. Oh, that's cool. I think that's from a hunting dog, probably? Or? Pro probably, yeah. I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere right now. <laughs> yeah. I, you think it'd have a tag on it? It probably did at right, one yeah. time, yeah. Oh, it broke right there. You can see that. All right. Well, if you haven't guessed, we're still working our way to the site. Um, but we'll be there soon. I've never been here. Uh, Billy and Jeremy's been here a few times, or at least once, and they found some nice stuff. They tell me, they even told me they might have left something for us. <laughs> um, so we're going to keep hiking through the, what do you call it? You don't call it forest. What do you call this? Uh, svelte. <laughs> Not svelte. Right now. All right, we keep us. Uh, so we're going to ways to hike. I'm going to turn you guys off for a little bit. Uh, if I see anything of interest on the way, we'll get you out. Otherwise, we'll see you on site. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be the best hunt ever. Jeremy promised me it's the best hunt ever. <laughs> so is this, uh, this thick all the way? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Is it like this kind of or worse? Uh, it's, basically, it's about like this. I mean, okay. it's been about a year since it's Yeah, all right. So I guess there was uh, some home sites here or something. Uh, colonial stuff, mostly. He, uh, he found Civil War, though, he said, too, right? Yeah. I think he had a couple, a uh, little bit of Civil War stuff, but some nice uh, colonial stuff. Um, I saw a picture of a really beautiful belt buckle, colonial belt buckle, you know, big brassy one. That's really nice. All right, away you go. I'm like, ah, I got to catch my breath. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, here's something I recommend if when you're out with people doing this is to uh, stay behind, you know, away from them when you're going through the bushes and uh, don't, don't let them hold the bushes for you. Just have them drop them. You just keep going. I mean, let them keep going. That way you never have to worry about accidentally getting slapped in the face as long as you keep your distance. Keep your distance. Take your advice. <laughs> I've been talking, me and, uh, this is gonna turn into a yapper, I'm sorry. Yeah. But me and uh, Billy have been talking like all morning basically and Jeremy's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm still talking, but we're going. We'll see in a few. All right, still working away. I'm still yapping, but I just wanted to show you something that I don't, I've never come across this, so I thought I'd share. Hey, maybe this is who belongs to the collar. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, that's a carnivore. It's either a coyote or a dog. I don't know how to tell the difference. And some more bones over here. And there's, um, that's his uh, backbone and tail and stuff. So, hard to say. It could have been fluffy. I got lost out here and well, it's a long ways from anybody. On or not. I'm making a yapper video and they're already digging. A little signal right there, I kicked it and it moved. You know, I always kick the stuff, you know, uh, just in case it's on the surface, that way I don't have to dig a hole in. Found one of these, I do believe that is a lighter and probably not colonial or even Civil War uh, era. I think it's gonna be like, mm, probably 2000s. <laughs> it's a lighter. All right, enough of that. Piece of iron right here. That looks like an old spike or something. Um, we're in an area here that's along the river, and so it floods. That's why I find the lighters and stuff that you know they get washed up in here. But um, yeah, that's a nice big old spike. I mean, somebody could have dug that before. I don't know. It could have just been washed out from the uh, when you get floods, crabs. <laughs> Well, we finally made it, and yes, Billy was about half an hour in front of us. <laughs> He's like a rabbit, aren't you, man? It was like, we kept seeing his tracks in the mud, but we couldn't catch up. Um, oyster shells. Mm -hmm. Come down through here. Yeah, so along this uh, area right through here, it's a lot of oyster shells. And this is where you found some stuff in the past, mm -hmm. a little bit. How many uh, times have you been here? Been here once, you say? Or? Once or twice. It's just so hard to get back here. You get, you know, park your truck and walk a long way to get back here. You say there might be some uh, gun emplacements some, on the map. There's yeah. some in the area, so we might even find a shell back here. Yeah, and not just one of those. Yep. We're gonna dig or talk. I'm gonna sit here today. I'm tired. I'm really humping it through the wood. <laughs> it I was to prove my way was faster. Well, <laughs> it well was. But it's so funny. We ended up right in your footprints. Uh -huh. Like we break out of the woods into the mud, and you know we cross the mud. It's like. I stepped in them. <laughs> so weird. Say we always end up in the same. It doesn't matter yeah. where we go. We always end up in the same. So place. weird. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna get a drink, put my gear on, and start digging. What do you say? Mm -hmm.
For anything good, man, give me a holler. I will. Get it to get on camera, so. Good luck to you. Good luck, good luck. I said, right where this tree fell, before it fell, we found some rat tail spoons there, and a couple back that way. So we're right? Yeah, we're right. Yeah. Know. Awesome, man. You look tight. Oh, I know what's wrong with you. You only slept for three hours last night, didn't you? It's partying or working? You were working. We're working. <laughs> we were. I'm tired too, but I'm, I'm like, I've never been here, so I had lots of adrenaline, and I'm not going to make it a yapper, I promise. Well, Billy is still resting, I'm frantically, and I mean frantically, trying to get a signal before he gets started. And I got a signal. So we're gonna dig it together. Sounds like a shotgun shell, but we never know. First signal of the day though. All right, here's what we're doing. We got the Gear AT Max, zero program, zero discrimination. Three bars on the uh, battery, maximum sense, <coughs> excuse me, maximum sensitivity, auto pollen down here. Um, I'm just going to ground balance it again just to make sure you're up and down a few times so it settles down. And we have our first signal right here. Nice, clear, crisp signal. Actually, what, I think it's too high for a shotgun shell, 69.70. I'm thinking it's going to be like a button or a little piece of brassy thing. All right, I'm going to just take the top off just in case it's on the surface because if it's on the surface, it's over there and we're done digging. No, still buried. Good. I'm going to set you up. This is going to be a good one. There we go. All right. Hit it with the machine. All right, put it in there. Try the old pinpointer, because I know you guys like the pinpointer. Oh, you go. Okay, let's do, oh. So it's not too much deeper, but it's right here. I'm gonna dig it with my fingers, because I'm a moron. Try to dig it with your fingers. I don't get, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get the, ah, uh, oh, it's out, <laughs> no. All right, I moved it, let's go look at it. It's in this loose dirt right here. It's not very big, obviously. Maybe it's a little button. What's that button? Looky! Can you see it? Can you? Right here, I can see that. That's a little piece of brass sticking out. That's going to be a shank. You know, where they put the thread through. And you can see it's kind of circular there. So I'm going to flip it over. It's going to be a little flat button. Come on now. Oh, look! I think it's got a good design on it, too. Oh, Billy going to be mad. No, it's not me. Jeremy, you got to worry about it. He finds the uh -oh. Um, yeah, it's a really, really pretty button. Um, let me clean it up in a minute and I'll get right back with you. There we are. Uh, never found a button like this. I got like the scallop, scalloped edges. Beautiful. I can't see any designs in the middle or numbers for like regimental buttons from uh, like the Revolutionary War. Beautiful shank, off center, nice and crude. But it's a, uh, you know, it's a well made button, so they were trying to make it fancy, but it's crude, so you know it's old. <laughs> That's a good one, man. We're on it now. Billy, Southern Billy. <laughs> yeah. And I found it when you're still resting. My day is complete. We go home now? No, I, I, you're gonna find something good, man. I think you're gonna get a big old hammered gold coin pretty soon. That's a good start, man, wasn't it? First signal oh, yeah. of the day. Kind of weird mushroom? Yeah. Oh dear God, I would not eat that thing. That's, um, I, I don't know what that is. I think it's a cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't supper tonight, yeah, Billy. Yeah. We'll Looks like a cauliflower, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll mix it yeah. with the rest of them. <laughs> Don't eat wild mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, you guys find any uh, good targets? I got a buck shot. I got, a, I got something kind of neat. I mean, it's not, you know, like a coin or a button, but it's a... Uh, oh, what's it? So I don't have any idea what it is. What do you call them? Yeah. A draw? It's a draw. All right, so this was down by the river, river bank. Look at that thing. It's like a, 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 a ruler or something. For something measuring. Yeah. But it's it's lead filled and it's got a, like a copper brassy jacket, I think. Never seen it. Looks kind of old. Yeah. I'd say so. When well, hopefully somebody will know. One of the viewers. I've never seen anything like it. You got a gold coin. I know you got one by now. If I. <laughs> he is so I'm, tired, dude. Look at Look how he, tired. He, he can't even stand tired. up. I'll tell you the same you thing. You should have brought your hammock with you. I should have, yeah. I'll tell you the same thing I tell the wife and kids if I find a gold coin. Yeah. I'm getting a new family. <laughs> what does that mean? They'll never see me again. <laughs> <laughs> We're really tired. <laughs> uh, Jeremy just found these. These are uh, cooking kettles, cast iron. You can see the lip on it, another piece of it. Pretty rough shape. But uh, yeah, so they were definitely homes here or something. Uh, good sign. Oh, look, you can see the mold seam on it. 
Okay, gonna yap for a minute. Um, I'm a couple hundred yards away from where uh, we found the buttons and stuff, and we're in the uh, pot we just looked at. Uh, I'm convinced they have not found the big house yet, so I'm making some zigzag patterns to the woods, going down a couple hundred yards, crossing over, and looking for another site. I'm not looking for buttons, I'm looking for a site. Uh, I'm looking for the iron concentration. I haven't hit it yet, but I did see something interesting here I wanted to show you because it's kind of cool. The big tree that fell over, you can see that there's lots of oyster shells up here. Um, oh, some of those, ooh, crabby. Make sure there's no snakes in here too. Uh, so lots of oyster shells. So someone dumped these here. Could have been part of the plantation we're looking for. Look like spider or something. Jeez. Could have been part of the plantation or could this could be Indian. We, we don't know. Uh, we have to look for iron and stuff for Indian pottery. It's actually kind of deep. I mean, it goes down to here at least here. So there's something they, when they threw the shells, they filled it in. And I uh, don't see any glass or pottery, but we're going to listen to a metal detector. I just want to show you what I'm doing, what I'm looking for. I think where the big house is, there's going to be a ton of these oyster shells pitched over one of, one of these ravines. And that might be how we find it, just looking at that. So I haven't looked up in here yet. Let's go ahead and grab the machine. If we got any good signals, I'll let you know. Is that a crown dog? Let's cock. <laughs> There's an armadillo in there. I'm just trying to get a good look at him so you can see him. They're kind of interesting creatures. But he's probably oh, there he is right there. Hard to see, but you see him. It's an armadillo. They're real calm. That's what's digging all these holes out here. You can see he has a snout for digging. Um, weird creatures. They actually have uh, carry uh, uh, leprosy, so you're not supposed to handle armadillos. They're fast, too, for what they are. All right, let's see if we can scare Well, I'm, let's walk around the edge again, see if we can see get a bit of shot of him. He doesn't care that we're bothering him, because we're not going to eat him. Left my shovel somewhere. <laughs> Left my shovel. Oh, that's back when we first spotted him. See if we can get a better shot. If not, we'll just get back to digging. Um, we'll see more out here. He is. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> I thought he might uh, like be like a possum and curl up because they can ball up in a tight little ball. But he's not going to do it. He's going to let me look at him. He's cute. I don't think he's going to come to me, I'm trying to get, get a little picture with my camera, my phone, so I can post it on Facebook real quick. Jigs Army on Facebook. I have to put you down. <laughs> so I, uh, I touched him with the camera because I thought he might ball up for us, but he just jumped like a little scared bunny. Actually, I got right up to him now. Let's see if we get back up to him again. You know, he's like he's covering his head so he, th he thinks he's hiding look at his tail is covered with armor those are scales and uh for protecting he'll ball up in a little ball so animals can't get to his head and his feet and stuff like uh, coyotes and things see you around buddy that's enough we'll let him go i got a good picture I and mean, if uh if you were uh follow me on instagram or facebook i post to both but mostly do my stuff on facebook you've probably seen the picture of that Two weeks ago. Yeah. I just posted a picture to uh, Facebook of the little armadillo. And I picked up my machine and started, started to look for my shovel and almost stepped on him again. <laughs> he, was, he was right behind me. We both jumped about six feet. <laughs> yeah, he's looking for supper. I think he's getting used to me, actually, isn't he? <laughs> there he goes. My shovel's over here somewhere. Oh, there it is right there. We'll leave him alone. <laughs> Looking for supper. Hashtag. He says he's got a snake over here, so I'm going to go check him out. I don't get to see snakes too often. Where's he at? Over there. Is there a rattle moccasin? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh, is he gone, or? Oh, he's still there. He's big one. Oh, yeah. 
piece on the edge of this cliff. Man, if I go tumbling down in there on, I'm not gonna be happy. See? Oh man, he's huge. Yeah. He's like a big old chip rope, doesn't he? Yeah. Wow, he's gonna be, what, seven feet? Yeah, six feet, at least six. Six at least. Look at that thing, see him? Kind of skinny, but really long. Yeah, he's probably well, closer to six and seven, I'm sure. Hey, let's go check him out. What do you say? Hopefully, he won't like come uh, up my pants leg. I think I'll be horrified if he does. Wow, he's a beauty. Look at that. I'll give him an escape rope. <laughs> Look at him. Look how long he is. Beautiful tail on him. He's a nice and lucky. Hey, puppy, how you doing, huh? Here comes Uncle Paul. Come on. He's a cutie. I think he can get away from us. He's trying to. <laughs> I'm going to leave those off for a second. I want you to listen to it. Because um, this might be where the house was. It's mostly iron here. But that's a squeaker here. Kind of a mid-tone. Good target. I'm going to dig it. But I want you to listen at the amount of iron in this area. This is where we found the hatchet head and some pot pieces not a lot of iron but there's more than anywhere i have been in these woods so far so i think if we just take our time we're going to find some stuff right in here not a ton of iron but boy, i tell you <laughs> all right let's go dig this target and i'll get back to back to work we'll find some... see i kind of heard a little squeak so we're going to investigate that I'm just hearing iron right now, but if it's deep, we might not give a good signal. So I kick the leaves back, maybe an inch or two off the top, and check it again. That's iron, just a grunt, low reading. Let's go ahead and dig this together. And uh, it should be right about here. Let me set you up. Let's hit her with the old pin pointer. Um, yeah, it's a little deeper than that. Not surprising. All right, you ready? Should be about where I was hitting the pinpoint there. Right in the middle of that. I think it'd be down about three or four, maybe four inches. Probably get it in that or just under that. Boy, look at beautiful sand, huh? The buttons are gonna be gorgeous in here. Well, they are gorgeous. We already found one. All right, let's see what we got. What do you say? First thing I'm doing is just kind of looking for green. I don't see any, so I'm gonna run the metal detector over it. Okay, so whatever it is, it's right there. Another signal there, so it might be iron, but we're going to investigate that. But let's go ahead and grab this since it's out of the hole. And for me, it's fastest just to kind of pick it up and do that. So let's just do that. All right, it's in the hand. What do you think? Feeling for weight, dropped out right here. It's either a small brass rivet or a like a piece of buckshot. It is a small brass rivet or a piece of buckshot. But it is a small brass rivet. Little tiny guy. Look at that thing. All right. We're on her, man. I'm not going to take my headphones off anymore. But uh, I got to say, that's a hole where I just dug a little rivet. And there's another squeaky thing right beside it. So could be another rivet right in there. But it's definitely non ferrous. Let's pop it out of the ground real quick. Oh, wow. Should have went down about a foot. All right. We should have got it with that one, I think. Run the machine over it. Uh, uh no we didn't get it. i think it's in a hole pick you up it's probably in the loose dirt at this point i don't know it might not it might be in the loose dirt might not be but let's just check it yeah i got a little tiny signal there um that could be the ground i actually have the uh um ground balance a little bit to the positive to make the signals pop but what well, the signal we heard was definitely not ground That could be ground though, it's just get a little not strong. You know, if ground balance is too uh, positive, you'll hear that you'll hear more stuff. Um, if it's to the negative, you hear less. So whatever it is, is right there. It's a non-ferrous small. It's not an acorn. That's it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that's gonna be another little rivet that actually has either some wood or leather on it. But yeah, definitely the signal is not iron because I can tell by the tone. All right, let's put it in the bag. We'll look at it later. I would dug out. Same type of thing. It's probably going to be another little baby bat, a bass, baby brass rivet. Woo! 
Ooh, not there. Ooh, not there. Ooh, not there. Right there. All right. I should have set you down so I could find it, but. All right. What I'm going to have to do is set you down so I can. That's giving a little bit of a signal, but I think it's just an acorn. Again, you know what it is? I have this balance. I can ground balance the machine directly to the ground, which is great. I can make it a little higher. Say the ground balance is 60. You put it up like 61, and you'll hear more signals, but you'll get more of the ground. You'll start hearing chattering and stuff, uh, but you'll hear more signals. Now, if you're the other way, say ground balance is at 60, and you move off 50 feet, and that ground's only, say, 58 your signal is going to disappear all of a sudden your machine's going to start getting really quiet so that's why you need to keep ground balancing all the time a little bit to the positive what i'm actually hearing is my hand i'm going to show you right now nothing in my hand no rings um let me turn my headphones off so i'm actually hearing the i don't know if it's a salt in my hand or what but that's what you hear see isn't that cool and when you're gold hunting like out west you ground balance it up you know if it's at 70 you might want to have it at 71 or you know 70.5 uh and you can't use your hand to find targets you have to use like a little plastic scoop because a baby you know gold nugget will sound just like that isn't that cool but what we're hearing here is a probably another rivet so let's go see if we can find it yep see how that's much different so i know it's not just my hand making it go off In here so let's just go over here just bounce it you can feel the weight see if i can feel any i'm not really feeling anything heavy um so it's probably something very puny and what i'm going to do yeah so something really puny it's probably another little tiny i'm going to hear my hand but that's not my hand so it's something really tiny all right yeah i can feel it here a little, look at that it's a little little tiny brass snail you know, you find a lot of nails uh, when you're anywhere near waters, you know, along the you know, coasts and stuff. Brass nails came off ships. This is a little tiny brass nail. This is probably furniture, maybe a boot, I don't know. But it's a little tiny brass nail. I've got a couple rivets. So it's probably some type of something that someone was wearing. And I'm going to hazard to guess there's going to be more of it in here. See, it's a little chattery because I have it to, to the positive so I can go deeper. He's not, he's tired. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, that's the lesson for the day. All right, same hole. I got another little squeaky thing for a brass nail, but I wanted to... I don't see more than that, but I just wanted to show you, I'm digging up oyster shells out of that hole, and it's also some pieces of charcoal coming up. Um, they're not real obvious here, but let's see what the target is. It's gotta be right in here. All right, ready? Right here, it's gonna. Oh, what's that? Acorn <laughs> or hickory nut. All right, so it's in here. Feeling for weight. Feeling for weight. Not really feeling anything heavy. And we're already through. It might be right there. What we'll do is get the pinpoint. Pinpoint. That might be it right there. Is that it? Right there. Look. Oh, the pinpointer up for you. I know you guys get impatient. Ready? Getting close. <laughs> I don't even know if that's the thing we dug. That sounds like it's actually deeper than... No, I think it's loose. It's just minuscule. <laughs> God, that's got to be tiny, man. What I'm going to have to do is... Um, yeah, that's it right there. That looks like a little nail, but that's not what we're hearing. I can guarantee you that's not what we heard. Because um, what we heard is non ferrous and that's why I sometimes gripe about you know getting the pinpointer out so quick because you're going to hear all the nails too. And if I if you just use the machine, I mean, you don't have to you know, like really go looking for these. You'll know it's a nail. You don't have to dig it. You just you know, scoop somewhere else. <sighs> Dug it up. I wasn't sure, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a decent signal right inside of the hole, out of the ground. Anyway, I think it's going to be right in here, maybe in the loose stuff, may not be. I'm hoping to see a button or a coin. I shouldn't... <laughs> Is that charcoal? I'm, uh, 
Gotta be careful we don't like grab a water moccasin or something though. Copperhead down on one of these tree root holes. Okay, I'm gonna check this with a machine. If it's not in here, then we'll get the pinpoint out. Yep. Okay, still in the hole. Well, let me set you up. Should be right in that area. Um, it sounded kind of big, so I'm thinking, I'm worried it might be iron, a piece of flat iron, but it may not be. I feel it. It feels kind of crunchy like iron. Rough. So I'm thinking that's going to be a piece of, yeah, it's a piece of iron. Unfortunately, it's going to be flat iron of some sort, which I'm kind of worried about. I'm about to see what it is down, down a good way. It's probably a piece of pot. Those things sound really good sometimes. Holy, definitely wasn't worth taking. Well, we don't know yet. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it was. All right, um, I'm going to have to work on it. I'm not going to worry too much about hitting it because I can tell it's really crunchy and I think it's broken. A lot of charcoal in there. Come on. Come, ah! Probably a piece of a bar or something, bar of iron. Man, I thought we should be to it now. There, is that it? Is that it? Okay, uh, yeah, okay. Let me show you. I don't actually know if this is it, but it's, it's either iron or brick. I can't really tell just, oh, it's iron. All right, we got her. All right, looks like strapping of some sort. Okay, what do we have here? We have a big iron doohickey. Got like a, probably where a bolt went through it. Um, I guess that's probably like a strap hinge to a door. Could be a door, could be almost anything. Um, that's just my best guess. 99% sure that's all it was. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the holding cell of rust here. A lot of charcoal in there and it's down at that level so that could be period charcoal. Uh, what we're going to do, I'll listen to it. Uh, if it's something good, I'll show you. But we're going to keep moving. This area, if you look, it's kind of, it mounds up right here. So I don't know if this is part of like maybe where a house stood or it could be where they logged it in 1900. They put a pile of junk here. I just don't know yet. So we'll find out in a minute, hopefully. I feel kind of like a doofus, but I want to show you what happened. I, I done goofed. I ac accidentally hit the iron audio button. You see it right there. That means we'll hear all the iron too. So that signal that I heard there, that's it was non fair. Because I had the iron audio on, it sounded like something good, but if we had paid attention to the number, we would have known it was iron. All right, so that's another lesson. And don't forget to get leprosy if you play around with those armadillos. Four lessons, three lessons. All right, so we're all back at base camp for taking a little break. And who, who found this? You find it, Jeremy? Yeah. Cool little accent, check this thing out. It's more like a hatchet, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, all, it's broken, just barely broken. I mean, that's all hand forward. That's probably like, that's like a Tommy Hawk hatchet almost, you know? Yeah. Some Indians would carry. <laughs> Very crude. That's an awesome find. It really is. Does it clean up nice? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's awesome. I'm actually good ways from where the, uh, where we think the home site area was, and I'm just going through the woods, and I just found this which is a uh, 22 magnum cartridge 22 caliber um didn't show digging up because i haven't really heard much iron or anything here so i figured it could be a shotgun shell or something like that and sure enough it was a piece of junk starting to get into an area of the woods right here it's kind of a flat and it's a little blitz of iron and uh, i got this signal which was you know uh, i could tell was not iron and it's a piece of lead now it's not melted i think it's carved little carved piece of lead so we might be onto something and these I'm suspecting the iron we're here in our little nails. So there might be something real close by. Getting kind of excited. Yeah, I yeah. am. Can't you tell? So I'm about 20 yards away from where I found a little piece of carved lead and about 20 minutes away too. So I haven't had any other signals, but I got a nice banger right here. I went ahead and dug it up because uh, you know, I just, I just dug it up. <laughs> um, and it's, I mean, it's a nice solid signal. I guarantee you that's not a shotgun gel. Well, I can't guarantee it, but I'm pretty sure. <gasps> Looky! That's a mini ball! I think. I think it's going to be a big old... Oh, look at that! Dudes! El Deuterinos. That is a uh, giant 69 caliber Civil War mini ball. I uh, don't know if that's dropped or fired. Let's clean up a little bit on the old pants. That's got a weird patina, doesn't it? That color. All right, I'm looking at it, and I can see that it's got these striations right here, these lines. 
So I'm going to suspect this was a fired mini ball from, uh, and it was fired from a long, long ways away. Because uh, when it hit the ground, it just went like that. It's not deformed at all. But because it has those lines, that's telling me that's where the rifling was grabbing it. And it had very poor rifling in the barrel. Very poor. Very light. All right, we got a bullet. That's sweet. We are on the board. Oh, we were on the board a long time ago. <laughs> this could have been fired from a mile away, so it doesn't excite me that much. But let's keep going. Well, good news, bad news. Good news is that I found a spike, so that mm, could be a building here. Bad news is I have 6% on my GoPro, and all my batteries are across the woods at our base camp. So I'm not going to be talking much anymore. Just quick shots until I get back to our base camp. A nice big screamer of a target right here. Well, it's probably lead, but it's big. And uh, I'm gonna move fast though, because we can't talk a whole no. I was, I was hoping it was gonna be like a bullet just laying right there, but it's not gonna be a bullet, because we just, no, oh, is it a button? Oh, looky, it's a button. Wow, that's a beauty. Nice flat button. It looks a lot like the one I found earlier. Um, might have a design on it. Let's clean it up real quick. Very crude, so it's gonna be an oldie. Quick cleaner, um, I don't see a design, but we'll get a good picture of that and I'll clean it up a little bit in a few minutes. I'm not giving up that it's not something on that one. All right, gotta quit talking, 4%. Well here, and I kicked it, so it's out of the hole. About 50, but it's solid, so it could be a little button or something good. Could be shotgun shell too, gosh. It's in, it's in this leaf letter because I kicked it. I kicked it out of the... Uh, um, all right. I'll speed this up a little bit. Actually. Yeah. That's pretty neat, oh, man. Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Out of there. Yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I was telling them that, you know, about the, you know, the button, the things we're finding right here. And uh, I think that maybe we should spend a little bit of time what do you think? Yeah. I think we'll find something good here. At least at least a half dozen buttons at least. Maybe I'll find something other than the inside of my eyelids. <laughs> we had a long night. It, that was our fishing night. It was a long night. All right. I'm going to get back to work, man. Right. You good with that? Let's go. Good tone. It's in this clot of dirt right here. I mean, it could be a buckshot. could be something good. It has that kind of skippy sound, so I don't think it's going to be terribly big. It's in here. Here. All right, I don't see it. All right, let's see with a machine. Machine. It's definitely, definitely hitting hard. Right in here, maybe. <laughs> not or not. Jeez. I should just. Yeah. Okay. It's in the hand, I'm just gonna flip it around a little bit. I'm not feeling anything particularly heavy. So, uh, 22 bullet right here. Or a 22 shell casing. Yeah, look at that. That's <laughs> pretty wild. I like that. There's a orange part up here. I've never, I don't think I've ever really seen a tree uh, you know, the fungus has grown quite like that. It's just really cool. The whole thing is just orange. A little close up for you. I don't think we're going to be too much longer because we want to uh, we want to drive back uh, to our camp. It's about a 40 minute drive on the road. So <laughs> it's out of the hole. Let's go ahead and look at it together. I'm kind of, was kind of kicking it when I was talking to you. Probably gonna be like a piece of buckshot. Not uh, buckshot, I had it in my hand. I saw it, picked it up, and that's exactly what it was. A lot of this buckshot out here. All right, only the good stuff. Big old back, back, back right there. And I actually think I can see it. I think it might be another one of those 69 caliber mini balls. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. Wow, let's give it a little rub. And see if there's any of those rifling grooves cutting it. I'd say that's probably what that is right there. So it's going to be a fired one, but you know, fire from a long ways away. That's sweet. We're actually heading out and I'm just going to uh, dig real quick as we go. And if we get another hot spot, maybe we can uh, make another journey over here another day. Number two. I'm almost back to the truck. Um, and I'm um, getting a bunch of iron in here. Unfortunately, there's some like beer cans and soda cans and stuff. I have a weird depression area, and I do have a screamer right here that I halfway uncovered. I think it's uh, a reading higher than a shotgun shell, so I'm hoping it's something good. No. <laughs> All right, what we have here is a little brassy 
ring has probably uh, like goes to a spark plug a um, like a washer gasket thing for a spark plug so I'm not gonna spend any time here uh, in fact uh, as soon as I get back to the truck they want to split so if you don't see me again thanks for joining me uh, we found a couple buttons saw some pretty cool stuff today I was really I really enjoyed it the armadillos and stuff and don't forget give me a like and a subscribe um, hey ring the bell if you want updates oh god I hate, I hate selling myself <laughs> I feel so cheap <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed the uh, little adventure there'll be more tomorrow is a new day and we're gonna find some stuff we'll see you then Pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby, and I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets, she's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby I'll rock you until I go to sleep she don't care if you're dying or if you're living